Jim, from your perspective, do is this going to change the way that we look at people who short the market or short stocks? I mean, you know, if you're going to short 148% of a stock, you're a moron. I mean, look, I shorted um, Noxima. I shorted, uh, I got absolutely crushed. Um, you know, there's a major takeover. I, I, I shorted a stock that was actually, that I thought was a total joke, that Systemics, it got a bid, and then they wrote the whole thing off like in two years later. So, I mean, you have to be careful when you're short. You have to respect the, the idea that perhaps people can see you're short and they're going to bust you. And I have to ask, why didn't you declare victory with GME? What do you need for it to go to zero? Do you have to be that greedy? I mean, how about the bed bath short people, 68%? Have they understood what Mark Tritton has done? The remarkable work he has done? No, the arrogance of the shorts is shocking to me. They ought to realize that they are pressing their luck in a way that I find to be revolting. And uh, the Wall Street bets people have every right to go after these shorts because the shorts decided, you know what? We know more than the young people who are trying to do all their homework. Uh, and not the cheerleaders, but trying to do all their homework. So, I mean, the answer is, the answer is, Catherine, that the shorts deserved it, given how big they were and how greedy they were. Bulls make money. Bears make money. But you know what? Pigs, they get slaughtered.